Bonjour, you gorgeous humans. Let's get into today's notes, which is honestly more of the same. We are going to put together writing the equation and then solving it. So our goal is to isolate the variable. After we write the equation, of course. Um, to isolate just means to get it by itself. Get it by itself. Oh, that's an S, not a T. Get it by itself. There we go. Uh, so to refresh your memory, we are going to move the variables first. Uh, preferably the smaller one. Then, what you do to one side, you're going to do the other. No, I actually don't like that second step. Then we're going to move the constant. Constants. Opposite side of variable. And I really hope you guys notice my red and green theme here because you know it is Christmas time. So, uh, and then lastly, simplify coefficient, simplify the variable by dividing. And that's it. Okay, let's get into it. So, oh, you know what? We just rewrote what's actually right here, <laughs> which I don't mind doing because, you know, the more you write it, the better, the better your brain can process it. So what uh, we do need to remember, though, is what you do to one side, you need to do to the other. What you do to one side, do to... The other. Okay. Um, we have four examples here. Whoop, I do not know what just happened. We have four examples. Nope, we have three examples. Love it. Even better than four. Let's get into it. Nayeli and Christian are collecting cans of food for the food drive. Nayeli starts with 20 cans. I know that's my constant, right? She starts with 20. I'm going to put Nayeli on this side and I'm going to put Christian on this side. And collects one can each day. So 1x, right, because it's each day, one can each day. Christian starts with four, so I know his constant is four, and then collects three times as many cans as Nayeli does each day. Starts with four, sorry guys. Starts with four and collects three, oh, that's a circle, three times as many as not Nayeli. So three X, three times as many as she does. She only does one a day, so he does three times that much a day. How many days until Christian and Nayeli have the same amount? So same amount means equals, same number, right? Okay, cool. There's my equation. Now I'm going to solve. To solve, we are going to put in this lovely organizer. I'm going to put my equal sign in the middle. And draw my line. I have x plus 20. And then 3x plus 4. So move variables first. I'm going to move the smaller one first, which means I'm going to move this guy to the left. Sorry, move him from the left to the right. Draw my horizontal line. And so that zeroes out. Bring down my positive 20. Bring down my equal sign. 3x minus 1x is 2x. 
and then bring down my positive four. So since I moved my variable to the right, I need to move my constants to the left by doing the opposite, which means I am subtracting four from both sides. Again, drawing my horizontal line, because now I'm working vertically. 20 minus four is 16. Bring down my equal sign, bring down my two X, and then four minus four is zero. Last step, I'm going to divide both sides by two to undo that multiplying by two. Two divided by two is one. So I have a beautiful X equals eight. So after, what this means is, after eight days, Nayeli and Christian will collect the same number of cans. Cool. Let's do another example. Example two. The Navy is maneuvering submarines. Woohoo! Submarine A starts at sea level. Starts. Love that keyword. I'm going to box it. Sea level. Sea level is zero, guys. So I'm going to have A over here and B over here. Starts at sea level and descends. Keyword 225 per minute. So I know my multiplicative is going to be 225. And he's starting at sea level, which means it's plus zero. Submarine B starts at 900 below sea level. So I know my constant is negative 900 because he is 900 below sea level. And ascends going up 75 meters per minute. So that's plus 75. I guess I don't have to write the plus because he's just positive, right? 75 per minute. After how many minutes will the two submarines be at the same depth? So my sign, again, is an equal sign. Two. Did that. Now I'm going to put it in my lovely graphic organizer to make my life easier. I have negative 225x, my equal sign, 75x minus 900. Drawing my railroad track. All right, move my variable first. I'm gonna move the smaller variable first. Well, if I do that though, if I move negative 225x to the right, which I can, we would add it to both sides, right? So plus 225 on both sides. That zeroes out. Sorry, I forgot to draw my horizontal line. 75 plus 225 equals 300. And it's positive because they're the same signs bring down that negative 900. But don't you guys notice how there's nothing on the left side now? I can't have that. I can't have zero on the left side with two terms on the right side. So either, I mean, if I want to move this 225 to the right, I can, but now I have to move this constant to the left. So I'm adding 900 to both sides. Which, yes, you can do that, but I will show you that it is an extra step. So that zeroes out, bring down my 300x, bring down, well, zero plus 900 is 900, and now I'm going to divide both sides by 300, x equals three. Okay, let me show you how to do this without doing extra steps. Whoop, that is not what I wanted to do. I was going with my eraser, there we go. Okay. I have negative 225x equals 75x minus 900, drawing my line. Okay, instead of moving my smaller variable to the right and then leaving nothing on the left side, I am just going to move the variable, the term of the variable on the right side to the left by subtracting 75x to both sides. So that zeroes out, bring down that negative 900, bring down my equal sign. Same signs, add and keep. So this is a negative 300x. And now I'm gonna divide both sides by negative 300. So I'm skipping that middleman of moving the constant. Divide both sides by negative 300. Negative 300 divided by negative 300 is one. That's kind of the whole point. So I have a beautiful just one x 
negative 900 divided by negative 300 is a positive 3. What this means is the two submarines will be at the same depth after three minutes. Okay, if you guys want to solve it with that extra step in there, that is totally your choice. It's all groovy if you do. Last one, let's go through the Holtem City Pumpkin Patch. Well, they charge an entrance fee. I know that's my additive. $5 and 65 cents per ticket. The North Richland Hills, okay, so I have Holtem and I have North Richland Hills. Pumpkin Patch charges an entrance fee of $10 and 45 cents per ticket for the rides. How many tickets will we purchase in order for the total cost at both pumpkin patches to be the same? So I should have an equal sign in between here. All right, I have a constant of five plus the 0.65 per ticket. And then here I have a $10 constant plus the 0.45 coefficient per ticket. Cool. I love it when things are easy because as soon as you get those keywords in, writing the equations are just so easy. Okay, put my equal sign in the middle. I'm gonna draw my line, separate my two sides. I have my constant of five plus the 65X. Here I have my constant of 10 plus my 0.45X. I am going to, since I do have two variables here, right? I have two terms of the variables. See up here. I had two terms with the variables, but I only had one term with a constant. Here I have two terms with variables and I have two terms with constants. Okay, I am gonna move my smaller variable first by subtracting to both sides, right? Do the opposite, inverse operations. This side zeroes out, bring down my 10, bring down my equal sign. Uh, 0.65 minus 0.45 is 0.2. And I know it's still positive. Bring down the five. Since I moved the term of the variable to the left, I need to move the constant to the right. So I'm gonna move this five to the right side. Zeroes out. Bring down that positive two X, bring down the equal sign. 10 minus five is five. Beautiful. My last step is divide. I'm gonna divide by 0.2 on both sides. 0.2 divided by 0.2 is one. That's kind of the whole point. So I get that lovely one X equals. Um, I am going to bring this over and then put a zero there so I can divide it in my head. And I know that two can go into 50 25 times. Therefore, 0.2 can go into 5 25 times. What this means is, after buying 25 tickets, the total cost of the pumpkin patches is the same. Okay. There we have it, guys. If you have any questions, if I went too fast, you could always rewatch it. Or, you know what? Ask your teacher for help. That's kind of our job.